The Kentucky Wildcats will take on the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets in the Tax Slayer Bowl in Jacksonville, Florida in the afternoon of New Year's Eve. The really unique thing about this game is that both teams are coming off of upset wins in the rivalry games to end the regular season. Georgia Tech knocked off Georgia and Kentucky upended Louisville. Georgia Tech opened at minus four, but early betters have come in on the underdog, bringing the line to minus three. Kentucky football is moving in the right direction. For the first time since the 2010 Compass Bowl, the Wildcats and their fans will have a bowl game to follow while focusing more on the basketball team. UK finished up a 7-5 regular season and also went 7-5 against the spread. The team also went 7-5 on the over-under. Mark Stoops has the Wildcats back in a bowl game and they are guaranteed the first winning season for the program since 2009, regardless of what happens in the Dax Slayer Bowl. The Wildcats had some really big strides in the running game last season and they rode that unit to the next level this season. Kentucky managed 4.7 yards per carry last season, but that number went up to 5.5 yards per carry this season. Kentucky had two 1,000-yard rushers at the running back position, and they were the only team in the country to accomplish that feat. Stanley Williams ran for 7.1 yards per carry on 160 tries, and Benny Snell Jr. ran for 1,057 yards on 179 carries. The scary part is that Snell is a true freshman. Steven Johnson did well enough as the quarterback with a 12 to 6 touchdown to interception ratio and a 54.5% completion rate. The Wildcats averaged 31 points per game for the first time since 2010. They had 6.4 yards per play, which is one of the best marks in a very long time. Defensively, the Wildcats still have some issues. That is concerning because Stoops was formerly a defensive coordinator at Florida State and also at Arizona. Kentucky has had some coaching turnover on the offensive side, but the defensive staff has mostly been intact during Stoops' tenure. The Wildcats gave up 31.2 points per game and 6.1 yards per play. They were gashed by the run, which is suboptimal going into a game against a triple option offense. This group definitely regressed from last season. The Wildcats allowed 5.5 yards per play last year and 4.6 yards per carry. Stoops has certainly prepared for the triple option before, so maybe that's the edge that the Wildcats need. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets went 3-9 last season and missed a bowl game for the first time in 18 years. They will start a new streak with this year. The Yellow Jackets went 8-4 this year, 6-4-1 against the number, and 6-4-1 on the totals. There are no secrets about what Georgia Tech wants to do with the football. They are going to run, and run a lot. They are not as proficient with the triple option as the service academies, but some slight offensive improvements helped to turn last year's 3-9 record into this year's 8-4 record. Justin Thomas ran the option efficiently. He also posted an 8-2 touchdown to interception ratio with a 54.5% completion rate. Last season, he only completed 41.7% of his throws. The difference for Georgia Tech this year is that they played with the lead a lot more. Last season, they passed 192 times. This season, they passed 146 times. Rushing yards were spread out, as they always are, but the Yellow Jackets picked up 5.5 yards per carry and 32 rushing touchdowns. Last season, the Yellow Jackets averaged 5.3 yards per pop. Sometimes it's simply a matter of turnovers, especially with an option team. The Yellow Jackets were minus 8 in turnover margin last season. They were plus 3 with turnover margin this season, even though they only had 18 takeaways. The defense was mostly on par with last year's group. They allowed 5.9 yards per play to last season's 5.8. They allowed 25 points per game compared to last season's 25.8. They still struggled to stop the run and opponents actually fared a bit better throwing the football on the Yellow Jackets defense. The Yellow Jackets weren't as successful as other run heavy triple option teams in terms of controlling the clock. They are certainly susceptible to giving up points, and they did that on several occasions this season. Jacksonville is certainly close enough to Atlanta for the Yellow Jackets to be well represented in this game, and that may end up playing a factor in this one. Both teams should be very well prepared for this game. Kentucky has a head coach familiar with the triple option, and that type of experience is invaluable. It's very tough to defend, and Kentucky has been carved up by the run this season but the Wildcats are going to have success running the football as well. 
don't be surprised if this one is a high-scoring game between two teams that prefer to move the ball on the ground. The total is set at 60, so it's probably already a bit higher than some expected. Our pick and prediction is for the Kentucky Wildcats at plus three.